Hello and welcome to Tutorials, I am Tan and today we shall be making this seriously awesome real 3D text in Photoshop it's got quite a cool plastic look to it now unfortunately this is for only for Photoshop CS4 I believe it's just in the extended version so I'm afraid if you don't have that you can't do this tutorial but there are other ways of making 3D text, like if you use 3ds Max or something, which is probably a better way, but I just like the fact that you can do it in Photoshop now, which is quite cool. So, as you can see, it's nice and reflective, and we can add reflective textures, but for this tutorial it seems kind of pointless, but I will show you how to do that. And let's get started. So I'm going to go close this out, and uh, create a new document. I'm just doing mine by 640 by 480 just so it fits in my screen 100%. And I'm going to create a new text layer that is 10% grey. Okay, so it's right down here. Or 1A, 1A, 1A. And I'm going to type toots. Well, no. Got my caps lock on. Toots. Exclamation mark. Awesome. So let's align this up to the centre. And double click on the layer to get your blending options up. Now I want to go to Outer Glow set it to normal, opacity of 100% and we want it to be the exact same colour as our fill and ok and we can bring this out to I think 18 Yeah, and we'll leave that there and then we want an inner, inner glow uh, normal 100% and change the colour to uh, 25% grey yeah, and set it to center, and increase the size. Just, uh, I think 18 was good. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to hit OK and go Control or Command J to duplicate the layer. Drag our duplicate down to the bottom, and we're going to right click and clear layer styles. Now, if I had the background, you can see what I'm doing. Double click so you can get all your blending options back up, and go Stroke make sure it's black and just beef it out to about yeah get an 18 I think was good okay and then we can come back into this layers layer styles and uh, increase our outer oh no that was the inner one our outer glow and maybe Yeah, so it's kind of covering all the, all the way around the edges there. Okay, yeah, okay, and now select both layers. Right click on them and click Rasterize Type. So now we've got non editable type layers. Right click again and click Merge Layers. So we've now got one flat layer. Next, we want to come up to 3D and go New Mesh from Grayscale, Two Sided Plane. Yeah, click that. And there's our awesome 3D text, looking awesome so far. So I'm going to come down here to my camera controls, my uh, object 3D object controls, not the camera ones. I want to modify the object itself. Click, drag, and select scale tool just so we can make it bigger and rotate it. And there you go. That's a basic 3D. Next, we want to come to Window 3D. And if we go over to our last, the little light bulb icon right at the end, we've got our three infinite lights. These are the default ones, and we've got no point or spotlights. So in our first one, we want to change the color to yeah, it's blue. Change it to a bright blue. There we go. And same with the second one. Change it to sort of white bluish. A little bit more blue. Okay. And finally, the third one. I have it bright for pure bright highlights. Okay, looking good. Now, admittedly, you do spin it around and you see this huge gap in the middle. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how we can get rid of that. So, please be patient while I try and work that out. Give me a few weeks and I'll probably have come up with a solution. But apart from that, if you just angle it different ways, it looks pretty good. Okay, now. To get rid of this glow around the edge, we come to uh, this uh, no, this one here on materials, and we can come down to diffuse, 
and change it to black and that gets rid of our glow or you can change it to whatever color you want oh party yeah rave <laughs> so just set it to black and hit ok and we can change the ambient so the actual light of the area it's in to whatever change mine to a light blue and same with the specular change it to um, yeah, if we keep it white, I think that give it a bit of a blue tint. Yeah, that's good. Now we can change the bump strength. So you can't really see that in this example, so we leave that as one. Or refraction again doesn't really show up too much, so one is fine. Refraction can be between one and three only, if you're interested. And reflectivity. Now of course, nothing will happen if we do that, but if we bring in an environment, so load texture, and we've got this texture I just found randomly earlier, you can see it reflects it um, with like glass. And of course you want to drill that reflectivity right down to like 7 or something. Maybe 9. Yeah. So you can see it reflecting it. It's pretty okay. And of course, it reflects it on the other side as well. Toots. Toots. But I don't really want that, so I'm just going to click Remove Texture. And drill that back down to zero. And there it is. There is a rather cool looking plastic 3D text layer thing. Hope you enjoyed it. I've been Tam, and this has been Tutorials. See you later.